If you are subscribed to our channel, then you already know that Celestron offers a wide variety of telescopes for beginner to advanced astronomers. They have these telescopes classified in different series. Each series has its purpose. One more such series of telescopes from Celestron is the Star Sense Explorer series. In this series, there are seven telescopes. Out of these seven, Celestron recently added a Dobsonian telescope. We already made a detailed video on these two telescopes, so we will not cover those two telescopes in this video. You can watch that video here. Before we move on to each telescope in the series, let's learn about the Star Sense Explorer series. The majority of the telescopes Celestron manufacturers are beginner friendly. To make stargazing much more beginner friendly, Celestron introduced the Star Sense Explorer series. Nowadays, everyone uses a smartphone. Celestron just took advantage of this fact and made the most ever beginner friendly telescope. In the Star Sense Explorer series, your telescope works in combination with your phone. Celestron has developed a special app for this series, and the name of the app is the Star Sense Explorer app. So, what's so special about this app? This app will guide you while navigating through the night sky. All you have to do is mount your phone on your telescope. The app will automatically detect all the visible objects in the night sky. When you enter the object you want to see in the app, the app will tell you in which direction you should move your telescope. As you get near your target object, the orange mark will turn green. This means the object is visible from the eyepiece of your telescope. This makes navigating through the night sky much easier and less time consuming. The Star Sense Explorer app is a little different than the other astronomy apps you might find. This app works on the principle of LISA, also known as a lost in the space algorithm. This algorithm is usually used by the satellites to orient them in the orbit. By using the same technology, the app can tell you accurately when the target is visible in the eyepiece. Other apps use your phone's gyroscope to achieve the same result, which is not that accurate compared to LISA. If you live in a much polluted region, even then, finding the most popular celestial objects such as Jupiter, Saturn, or the Orion Nebula will not be difficult for this app. Let's see the telescopes in this series. The first telescope in this series is the Popular Science Star Sense Explorer DX100AZ. To manufacture this telescope, Celestron has partnered with Popular Science. Popular Science is an organization which focuses on teaching people about science, technology, and the future. This first telescope is a refractor-type telescope. The aperture of this telescope is 100 millimeters. The focal length of this telescope is 660 millimeters, and the focal ratio is 6.6. .6. The telescope comes with two eyepieces. One is 25 millimeters and the other is 10 millimeters. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 241 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 15 times. The optical tube assembly has coatings. This ensures maximum light passes through the aperture. The weight of the optical tube assembly is 4 pounds, around 1.81 kilograms. This telescope has a manual alt-azimuth mount. The weight of the mount is 9.2 pounds, around 4.17 kilograms. The total weight of the kit of this telescope is 13.5 pounds, around 6.2 kilograms. This makes this telescope very lightweight and can be used as a grab-and-go telescope. With this telescope, you can see Jupiter and its moons, and also the cloud bands of Jupiter. You can also see Saturn, Orion Nebula, and star clusters. The next telescope in this series is the Star Sense Explorer LT-80AZ. This is also a refractor telescope. It has an aperture of 80 millimeters and a focal length of 900 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 11. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 189 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 11 times. The weight of the optical tube assembly is 5.4 pounds, or around 2.5 kilograms. This telescope also comes with a manual alt-azimuth mount. The weight of the mount is 3.8 pounds, or around 1.75 kilograms. The total weight of the telescope kit is 9.2 pounds, around 4.25 kilograms. This makes this telescope a lightweight grab-and-go telescope. This telescope comes with one 25mm eyepiece and another 10mm eyepiece. And on top of that, you also get a 2x Barlow lens with this telescope. 
One feature this telescope has is the Red Dot Finder. If you don't want to use the StarSense Explorer app, you can use the Red Dot Finder to find your target objects. As we explained in the focal ratio video, higher focal ratio is good for viewing planets. And if you haven't watched that video, you can watch it here. This telescope has a focal ratio of 11. So with this telescope, you can see Jupiter, Saturn, and many nearby planets in our solar system. The next telescope in this series is the StarSense Explorer DX-102AZ. This is also a refractor telescope. Its aperture is 102 millimeters, and its focal length is 660 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 6.5. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 240 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 15 times. This telescope is quite similar to the StarSense 100AZ, but this one has some added extra features. The telescope has a manual alt azimuth mount. The total weight of the telescope is 14 pounds, around 6.5 kilograms. The telescope comes with two eyepieces, one 25 millimeter and another 10 millimeter. It also has a red dot finder if you don't want to use the StarSense app. The built-in quality of this telescope is better than the popular Science 100 AC. With this telescope, you can see Jupiter, its moons and cloud bands, Saturn, and many bright deep space objects. The next telescope in this series is the StarSense Explorer LT-114 AZ. This is a reflector type telescope. The aperture of this telescope is 114 millimeters, around 4.5 inches, and the focal length is 1,000 millimeters. It has a focal ratio of nine. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 269 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 16 times. The weight of optical tube assembly is 6.6 .6 pounds, around three kilograms. The optical surfaces are coated with aluminum and silicon dioxide. This telescope has a manual alt azimuth mount. The total weight of the telescope kit is 10.4 pounds, or around 4.75 kilograms. You get two eyepieces, one 25 millimeter and another 10 millimeter. You also get a two times Barlow lens with this telescope to double the power of each eyepiece. There's also a red dot finder scope with this telescope. You get an accessory tray to keep any extra accessories for your telescope. And with this telescope, you can see bright views of Jupiter and its Galilean moons, its cloud bands and its great red spot. You can also see the rings of Saturn, the Orion Nebula and star clusters. The next telescope in this series is the StarSense Explorer 130AZ. This was the biggest aperture telescope before Celestron added two more telescopes to this series. It's also a reflector type telescope. It has an aperture of 130 millimeters and around five inches. Its focal length is 650 millimeters and its focal ratio is five. Its highest useful magnification is 306 times and the lowest useful magnification is 19 times. This telescope is quite similar to the StarSense 114AZ model, but with a bigger aperture. It also has a manual alt azimuth mount. The total weight of the telescope kit is 18 pounds or around eight kilograms. This telescope has a focal ratio of five, which means it mostly will give you a wide field of view. The wide field of view is good for observing deep space objects. With this telescope, you can see sharper images of celestial objects than what you can see with the StarSense 114AZ model. This telescope will show you the moon and its craters in great detail. You can also see the Andromeda galaxy and Bode's galaxy with this telescope. As you might have noticed, all the telescopes in this series have similar features. The quality of images you see will completely depend on the aperture size of your telescope. Overall, the main purpose of this StarSense telescope series is to make stargazing very beginner friendly. This is one of the reasons they added the simple but big aperture Dobsonian telescopes in this series. These two higher aperture telescopes are covered in another video. All telescopes in this series come with an alt azimuth mount, so they're not really suitable for long exposure astrophotography. If your aim is to do dedicated astrophotography, then these telescopes are not for you. We hope this video helped you to understand everything about the StarSense Explorer series telescopes to make better buying decisions. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.